Hello and welcome to the channel. A member of Labour Party has accused the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, of being a copycat. He said Tinubu, the show say he not get any fresh idea to rule Nigeria, and that all the policies were him to carry out since he entered office, he tifan from Obi. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Tinubu is copying Peter Obi's planned policies. Labour Party campaign member Chris Nuokobia spills. A member of the Labour Party and Obi Dati Presidential Campaign Council for the 2023 election, Professor Chris Nuokobia, has said President Bola Tinubu is copying all the planned policies of the party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Noor Kobia said Tinubu since his inauguration has been executing policies planned by the Labour Party flag bearer, Niger News Goddard. He said this during a live program on Arise News TV on Thursday when he claimed that Tinubu's style of governance showed it did not have any fresh ideas on how to solve the country's lingering social economic issues. He argued that Tinubu's appraisal of his performance in the last month is false adding that President Muhammad Buhari began similarly, but that in the end, his administration was unable to deliver on his campaign promises to Nigerians. The Labour Party shift then said, Obi would have done better if given the chance due to his expertise in politics and economics. Nwoko Bia said, All we have seen in the lifespan, one month of this administration, is copycats in the policy programs of Peter Gregory Obi. Peter Obi would have done better. Clearly, he understands Nigerian politics. Clearly, he understands the economy. Clearly, he understands business and he is a trader. Regarding the pace of Mr. President, I disagree with those who say he is moving so fast. Haven't we seen since 1999 several administrations, some moved faster than this. At some point, it took Buhari about six months or five months to appoint ministers in 2015. He was moving at quite supersonic pace that Nigerians said, oh, the body language of the president could do so much. He, Tinubu, exchanged service shifts. He removed subsidy because there was no provision for subsidy beyond June. He had no option but to do that. But the question I always asked economists and those who had gone to this government of the seat is where really was the subsidy? Meanwhile, the Edo State Chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has hailed President Bola Tinubu for the courage to remove fuel subsidies. Niger News reports that the Edo PDP said courage to remove subsidy from petrol and free float the Naira currency is commendable. The state party chairman, Dr. Tony Aziegbemi, noted that the implementation by the Tinubu-led government will give Nigeria an excess of 2 trillion Naira. The PDP said Nigeria's economy would have been grounded if those measures were not taken. According to them, the success of the economic policies would, however, depend on how the palliative will be handled and implemented. Speaking on why he is commending an opposition-led federal government, as Yegbemi said, It is the paradigm shift in policies that we are bringing on board in the PDP. President Tinubu on May 29 on his inauguration day announced the removal of fuel subsidy. The governors of the Hall Progressives Congress APC in Southwest, Oni of Ife, Oba Enitan Adeyeye Ogomusi and other prominent leaders are set to host President Bola Tinubu to a homecoming on Saturday, July 22, 2023. The chairman of the Southwest Presidential Post Inauguration Ceremony, Professor Kayade Familoni, stated this on Thursday in a press conference in Adoikiti, the Ekiti state capital. Speaking, Familoni said the celebration which will take place at the Ojaja Resort in Ilei Fair Oshun will be attended by other stakeholders, political bodies and religious bodies. It is closed that Governors Biodun Oyebanji, Ekiti, Babaji De Sanwolu, Lagos and Dakbo Abiodun Ogun are expected to preside over the event alongside other APC leaders across the country. Familoni stated that the event was significant to the unity and progress of the country, adding that the people of the Southwest 
We are determined to support the administration for success. The professor stated that the celebration will be the first gathering of Yoruba sons and daughters from the diaspora and within Nigeria to celebrate a president from their race. He said, we had a previous president who did not have a solid home in the past, but for the first time, we have a president that is genuinely loved and supported. Hence, the uniqueness of the inauguration deserves a special event. We are planning an honorary degree for the president in one of the universities, and as well as a book launch in his honor. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Yoruba people are ready to support him regardless of political affiliation. The leaders are committed to his success, and you can see what he achieved in one month, what some people can't do in eight years. This coming celebration of our president is perhaps the first time that Yoruba sons and daughters from the diaspora and within the country will have a structured and formal social gathering for a true Yoruba son as the president of this republic. Two governors from the Southwest region will be the chairman and deputy chairman of this unique occasion. Familoni maintained that since he assumed office a month ago, President Tinubu, he has demonstrated genuine intention for the country's development with his policies and programs. Meanwhile, President Bola Tinubu on Friday attended the Jumat service at the Lagos Central Mosque, Nam the Azikiwe Street, Lagos Island. A video of the president's arrival at the mosque showed a large number of residents who trooped out and lined the streets to catch a glimpse of the president. Security operatives were fully on ground and alert to keep the surging crowd at bay as Tinubu made his entrance into the mosque. It will be recalled that the president returned to Nigeria on Tuesday via the Motala Mohammed International Airport after his Paris and London trips and has been involved in quite a number of engagements since his return to Nigeria. President Bola Hakmetinubu has said he enjoyed himself at a grand reception organized to mark his first official visit to Lagos State as the nation's leader. The Lagos State government hosted a welcome reception in collaboration with the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, on Thursday at the State House in Marina. In a tweet via his verified Twitter handle, President Tinubu expressed his gratitude to the Lagos government, the state governors and the other people of goodwill who graced the event. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.